I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please invite your friends. And uh, as you see, we are in the Christian Prince account, but just to inform you, in, uh, we will do in a Christian Prince uh, live podcast just for a few days until people know that we will switch to the other account. The admin is posting the link for you, so please subscribe, the Arabian Prophet. This is my original account actually. Uh, and I have there maybe, I don't know, maybe 80, 90,000, something like that in that account. And it's not a, I mean, it's not a big deal, the number, but it's an other account I use and I will give this one a break. So please subscribe to the other account because if you don't see us coming here, you might wonder I'm not coming no more, right? And always you can follow up with us in Patreon and don't worry, you do not need to donate. I mean, you can go there and you will see the link. It is for free anyway. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not only for those who donate. So always you can go to Patreon and you can find the last link I posted and this will mean where I'm going to be live. doesn't matter really what I say now, right? Now, I wanted to speak about this topic uh, because many Christians, they can be deceived easy when the Muslim, they use some certain words to them. As an example, the word love. When a, when a Muslim, he says to you, uh, Allah love you. I heard, uh, I saw many videos. Uh, a Muslim trying to speak to a Christian in the street and says, Allah love you, brother, you know. But the Quran, all of it, speaking about Allah, he don't love those who, uh, they are kuffar. He don't love them. And there's tons of verses. And you will notice in some translation, they say Allah does not like the disbelievers. But in Arabic, it says Allah la yuhibbu al-kafirin. This is why it's important not to be deceived by the translation. So even the same, the, the, the word which is love, they lie and they say like. There's a huge difference between like and love. You change the translator, right away you will find you have a new Quran. You know, you will see that the word like disappear and then the word love appearing. See, we just change the translator. This is Shaker translation. This is chapter 3 verse 30, 32. So today I wanted to warn you that Muslims, they might use certain words and they are similar words we use as a Christian, but they don't have the same meaning. When they say love, Muslims, they can love only Muslims. When they can say uh, loyalty, Muslims, they can only loyal to Muslims. When they say decency, they can be decent only to Muslims. And we can prove it here. I mean, we are not making things up. You know, even the Quran forbid the Muslims to be decent to their parents if they are kuffar. You see, the Quran, the Muslim, they will say to you, the Quran order us to respect our parents, which is nothing new. I mean, this is copy from the Old Testament, right? Uh, but the Quran make it clear that you will not find one good believer, one believer, he will be loving to his own parents if they are not Muslims. Not even one.
Ja. Here you will not find the people who believe in Allah and the later day befriending. This is a fabrication a translation. Change the translator. You see, this is this is our problem with this garbage uh, translation. You know, they are not decent in translation. They're friendly. What friendly? So uh, what does that mean? You will not find one of the believer friendly to his parents, <laughs> which is evil anyway. I mean, but this is not really what it says. You change the translator. Then you will find the translation change again. You will not find. You will not find any of those who believe in Allah and the last day loving those who resist Allah, even if they are their parents, their father, their mother, their sons, their brother, their sisters. Do you see it? So they try to fool you and they try to use words which you use as a Christian, words you accept. And this is what the devil Muhammad he always did. He used certain words like the, the devil Muhammad, he say the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit for Muslims is not the Holy Spirit for us. It is a theft, Muhammad, he took the word Holy Spirit and he put it in his Quran. But you ask the Muslims who is the Holy Spirit, they will say to you, this is Jibreel. So they might fool you when they say the Holy Spirit brought the Quran to Muhammad. And then in your mind you think, oh, the Holy Spirit. But in reality, they are saying something else. So Muhammad is a thief, he stole words. He used them in his Quran, but they mean the opposite. So love means hate. For Allah, he loved those only who worship him. Allah hate those who don't worship him. This is the opposite of the teaching of Jesus. Jesus says, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. This is the opposite of the Bible saying, for God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. He loved the world. He loved the Hindus, the Buddhas, the Muslims, the, the Chinese, ethnic, doesn't matter what ethnic, Asian, white, black, who care? For God, he loved the world. So the Muhammadan, their prophet is a very deceiving evil person he tried to deceive you by using certain words which he used you used to it so you can accept him but if you check it you will find it is totally the opposite of what it's meant uh, yesterday we spoke about nikah the word nikah which is supposed to be muslim they say it's marriage and, and, and yeah i mean you know they for them today they are using it as a, in the quran as a word mean marriage but then the second we check it out we find that the word nikah mean the f word and then uh, yesterday we have a Muslim, he says to us, it means the same, both meaning, in the same time. Well, if it's mean, both meaning, so don't tell me this is marriage, because what kind of God he chose the F word to be the word marriage in the same time? So when a Muslim, he said the word marriage for you, it is not really a marriage. A marriage in Islam is something, you know, uh, yesterday a person, this person, he said, uh, marriage is a contract between two. But in Islam is not a contract between two, which means the female is not exist in the contract. This is why uh, uh, you, you will see a Muslim, he can exchange his wives as simple as if he wish. Like you, you make a wish for a Christmas, okay, make a wish. If you make a wish and you want to ch change your wife, this is the wish, it's as easy as making the wish. Chapter four, verse number 20. So the Quran, if there is a contract between two, then the wish should be for both. Can the woman wish to change her husband? No. Who is the one who can make the wish? The man. So what is the marriage then? There's no marriage. There is an employee, an employer. So if a man, he wish to take, like, look at the translation here. But if you decide to take one wife in a place of another, <laughs> That translation here is really funny. You change the translation again. I mean, we have to, to keep switching translation like monkeys. Unbelievable. But you know, for you, because you don't speak a language, you will not notice. Look at this one. We just change the translation. Look at that meaning, totally change. If you intend to replace a wife by another, you have given one of them, like, what is that? So you give them some money, let, let, you know, let them have, uh, you know, let them have it. You, you pay them for the sex they did, you know? So they call it marriage, but is it is that marriage in Christianity? Or this is prostitution? And this is women abuse? So they use the word marriage, but in reality, there is no marriage. Because a person he is married, he don't exchange wives. Since when? In which, in which civilization that is, you know, you exchange wives? Is she a car? Is she? 
and actually the correct translation is exchange here there's a correct translation and if you wish to exchange one wife for another and only the man he can exchange marriage okay the muslim they say to you will islam he respect a woman right what, what, what right here we go the guy he used her now maybe she be, she become older she is not pretty no more for him and now he will go after a child she is six years old like aisha and remember here they are calling it wife do you see the word wife so even the word wife he is, is deceiving because when you see the word wife you think it's a marriage right when you see the word wife in your mind what the word wife mean they are married but as you see this is not marriage because they are we're talking about exchanging women if we are married we don't exchange the wife that's not this is you know this is she is not a chicken she is not a chair she is not a table she is not a car I exchange my and exchange by the way the Arab they used to do this like you take my wife I take yours and sometimes even they used to switch women not necessarily forever like for temporarily like are you bored from your wife okay take my wife and I take yours you know like let us say for a month or two and even the Arab they used to do this if one he have uh, let us say he want to have a child from a noble family what he go and he go and he ask a nobleman to take his wife to stay with him until she have his uh, has a child can you believe it so they have a very open sexual life and they used to exchange women so if you wish to exchange one wife with the other now the muslim here they will say to you oh no this is not about exchanging with other men well it is because you are going to throw a woman away and you will bring another woman so that woman is somebody will take her right the woman, as you see, she's an object. So you need always to remember that when Muhammadan they use certain words, they have totally different meanings. So don't be, you know, don't fail into that. My Skype is open. If there's a Muslim would like to call me, uh, I saw a Muslim, actually he's an ex-Muslim, suppose he's saying he have a doubt about Christianity. My friend, let me tell you something. For us, you accept Christianity, you don't accept, you stay, you leave, this is your business. We, we are not the same as the Muslims are going to uh, pay you money. The Quran, Muhammad, he paid money to people to convert to his cult. For us, you accept Jesus, you don't accept Jesus, this is your salvation. It's, you know, it's, it's up to you. The, the gate of, of the hell is wide open. We'll take everybody, don't worry. So when somebody comes to here, seek attention, uh, you know, like he's an ex-Muslim and now I have a doubt about Christianity. Who care? Okay, I have a doubt. I have 10 doubt, a million doubt. Who care? Don't accept Christianity. It's your business. Uh, you know, uh, there is. I notice always. Like I've been, I've been doing what I'm doing for a long, long time. There is many people. They try to come to me seeking attention. You know, like you know, I'm reading. I'm thinking. You know, like you see, a Muslim he convert to uh, to Christianity uh, after talking to me, and then he come back to me and he says, "I'm thinking. You know, uh, to I'm not. I'm not sure about Christianity. You know." And then uh, when I say to him, I don't care, leave if you want. Uh, two minutes after, he says, no, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Like, what the heck? So some people, with my respect to everybody, they are seeking attention. They want a spotlight on them. And, uh, you know, this is, you need a medical doctor. I mean, a mental doctor in this case, not me. You know, this is, it means you are just suffering from some being lonely. Maybe you want people to, th to talk about you. Uh, you like to be in the spot of light. I remember when we used to be in Paltok, there is two women. They go to the Muslim rooms, they take Shahada. They come to Christian Prince room, they became Christian. They go to the Muslim room, they take Shahada. They come to Christian room, they became, became Christians. Two women. They are like friends together, you know. They go together, they became Muslims. And then the Muslims, they make them admin in their, in their chat room. Two weeks after, the two Muslim women, they became, they go to Christian prince room, they become a Christian. Then three or four weeks after, they go to the Muslim rooms and they take Shahada. And then lately they come to me, I said, I don't want you know here no more, go and be a Muslim. You know, <laughs> I don't want, that's it, we are done. 
I didn't want you to be a Christian. You know, you're just a stupid idiot. You know, seeking attention. Because what happened when they take Shahada, the Muslims, Allahu Akbar, sister, you know, etc. She became a superstar. Then after two weeks, ah, she is just a normal Muslim like everybody. Nobody care. So now what we will do? We want to make them excited again. So we go to Christian Prince. We go to Christian Prince. We speak to him. Ah, I am a Muslim now. I am a Christian now. The Muslim, they get upset. Sister, why you do that? She is now in the, the spot of the attention. And the Christians, they are welcoming her sister. So there's many people, they have a mental issues. This is, you know, those only God can help you, my friend. I cannot help you. Here we are talking to, to people who have a brain intelligence. And the brain, uh, you know, uh, is not exist in Islam. Uh, speaking of words, you know, even the, the one who made the Quran, is he don't even know good Arabic as an example uh, if you ask any Muslim what the word Zawjain mean Zawjain he will say to you uh, 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 to pair okay like let's say a male rabbit and female rabbit all right have you ever heard of somebody saying Zawjain is nine? Two and two? Two and two? Let me show you. Here it says, put there in two of every kind. Is that really a good, uh, correct uh, translation? You ch change the translator. Here it says, of each kind, two, male and female. Okay. Let us go to the other verse, just to show you how the corruption work in this cult. Here it says, but two and two, sorry, two, uh, two spouse, we change. Look at what happened, miraculous. Allah, he said that he created from every kind two and two. Have you ever heard of a stupid Arabic like this? So the previous translation, they were trying to fix it. They are saying from every kind, two pairs, male and female. But in reality, the Quran is saying two and two. That means four. So did Allah created two Adams and two Eve? Do you see what happened? We just changed the translator. We did not change the book. He made them in pairs, two and two. So what is the first two Allah created? It was Adam and Eve. So he made them in pairs, two and two. So did Allah create two Adams and two Eve? The one who made the Quran is in, is, is in, is in you know, he have a broken uh, uh, Arabic wor worse than my broken English. If you are a Muslim and you would like to call me, just text me in Skype, please, and I will take I will call you immediately. Remember, uh, uh, we would like to hear Muslims giving us their opinion about what they believe. And again, remember, please, uh, that's we are here in the Christian Prince account, but in a few days we will switch to. Uh, the Arabian prophet to do broadcast. So tell your friends, so if we don't find me here, you might wonder what happened, why he is not coming here. It's the same. I mean, uh, I, I noticed that some people, they are sometimes attached to an account as if this is a house or something. Uh, you, you are supposedly listening to the person, wherever he go, does, does it matter really? It's a YouTube, it's a virtual thing. It's not a, a building to be attached to it. So uh, uh, just to let you know, uh, 
we are going to be uh, live in the other account in a few days but i decided to go today here for a few days from now just to tell people so they will know and those who did not hear they will be informed do we have any muslim would like to call us do we have any muslim have anything to say do we have any muslim he can prove us wrong Well, glory to the Lord that all Muslims agree that Allah is a fraud. And other thing, you know, the Muslims they speak about monotheism. Like, you know, this is the most uh, well-known topic. The Muslims, they love to talk about it. They think they have a privilege by saying we have a monotheism. Uh, uh, always you need to be smart and intelligent. Don't be, don't be a foolish person. Don't be naive. The monotheism is not really even important. Even though we believe in monotheism, but because if God, he says, I am 10 gods, what you can do about it? Are you going to accept or reject? If Allah, he says he is 20 God, what the Muslims will do? Are they going to reject? So the idea of monotheism for me mean nothing really. Uh, you know, there's many God, many religion that we live in monotheism, the, the Egyptian, you know, the uh, uh, the, the one even the worship the worshipper of Satan they believe that Satan is God so monotheism is just one of a belief about one God but doesn't make it any different what make it different is if this God is true or not if there is a person he have a million God and they are true God then he is right their number doesn't make any different right but I find it very silly sometimes like when the Muslim they say we believe in one God etc who care if you believe in one God or not your God is an idiot you believe in one idiot God what kind of God he says I created them two in two hmm? you believe in one God but this God is literally an idiot what kind of God he think there's two east two west what kind of God he think the sun set in murky water or the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs or a God who don't remember which one is created first, the stars or the mountains? So you believe in one God, you believe in 10 God, you believe in zero God, that's not, will not change anything. What will change it if your God is true or not? So, uh, uh, don't use bad words in the, in the chat please otherwise we will block you you know don't use bad language we are not in the street and in the street I don't use those words so if you are a person who cannot clean his, his mouth you are not welcome clean your mouth here we use words only for the sake of education so if we say a certain word about like a the private part of a man or a woman because we have to read it it's there as a as a part of the study but not because we like to use it so clean your mouth otherwise we will block your chat so uh the ideas muslims they try to make it like we share the same thing as an example how many times you hear the muslim saying jesus we believe in jesus but do you know that in the quran not even once the word jesus mentioned the correct name is Jesus of Jesus is Yeshua in Arabic we say Yeshua so if we go in the Quran and we type the word Yeshua are we going to find it no so why they keep saying we believe in Jesus there's no Yeshua zero result zero where is this Jesus coming from the Muslim they have a guy his name is Isa you ask them, where is they? I mean, how come the Muslims, they have a totally different name? Where this name is coming from? So they might say to you, we have a same uh, uh, Jesus, but in reality, they don't even have Jesus name. They don't have the, 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 the Hebrew name. They don't have the Aramaic name. They don't have the Latin name. They don't have anything. They have a totally bro, brand new <laughs> person. We have no idea who this person is.
you will not find one Christian he heard ever of someone his name is Isa first time we heard of Isa as Arab Christians and when this garbage religion came to us who is Isa and then when you study more you will find that Muhammad he heard from the tradition of the Jews that there is a woman her name is Maryam and she is the sister of Aaron the sister of uh, Aaron and Moses and in the tradition this woman she have a son his name is Esau Muhammad he said oh this is Miriam and this is Isa and this is the Messiah when a Jewish rabbi came to Muhammad and told him he got him busted he says Muhammad are you an idiot or what he came to the wife Aisha and he told her that this is not true there's hundreds of years between them. Aisha, she said to him, Kadabt, which means you lied. The man, he got scared because Muhammad will kill him. He said, oh, you know what? The prophet, he knew better. Hmm. When Muhammad, he came, Aisha, she told him what the rabbi, he said. So Muhammad now tried to fix it. So he said, oh, at that time, they used to call them by their great prophets. But Mary, she is not even from the tribe of Aaron. Same time, Muhammad, because he's a fool, he got the name of the father of Aaron to be the name of the father of Mary. This is why there is a chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter of Al Amran. Al in Arabic mean it's not Arabic word actually. It's in Aramaic. Mean the family. The family of Amran. You ask the Muslims, even the word Amran, by the way, is wrong because it is Umram, not Umran. But he's an idiot, what you can say. He heard the Jews, he did not hear them correctly, so he said Umran. So uh, uh, the Muslim, they were able to answer, saying, Oh, the Prophet, he correct that. He says they called them by their great uh, prophets before them. Okay, we will let that go then. But how Allah, he mixed between the father of Aaron and Moses and the father of Mary. So Muhammad, he did not really uh, uh, fix it because he could not fix it no more. That's it. He made the verses about Mary, the daughter of Imran. And by the way, her name is in Arabic, is Maryam. It's exactly the same name as Maryam, the sister of Aaron. It's not Mary, it's Maryam. So Maryam, she is the sister of Aaron. She is the daughter of Imran. And the story of uh, Maryam in this chapter here in front of us. So again, when the Muslim they speak about Mary, in fact, they are talking about Mary, not Mary, they are talking about Maryam, the sister of Aaron. But they will try to you for you, saying we believe in the same persons, we believe in the same, we have, so they use the same words, but those words that they don't really belong to us, they have nothing to do with us. When the wife of Imran, she said, Lord, I have vowed to, to you that a child, between two brackets, of my womb will be dictated to your service. Okay, that's wonderful. Then when she gave birth, she gave a female, her name is Mary. <laughs> so the wife of who? The wife of Imran. Anyone knows, I mean, why the Christians, why, why, why the Christians, they will change the name of the father of Mary? They will not do that. And how the father of Mary became the same father of, Amr of Moses, the Muslim, they say today, just to fix it, they say, oh, it's just a similar name. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Until now, we have zero text from Muslims. Any Muslim? I have a I have a missed call from previously, but maybe it's night time for them. I don't know. I don't want to call people and wake them up. We don't know where they are calling from or texting from. We want people to text me now. They are Muslims and they are willing to talk. Anyone? Do we have any Muslim? And speaking of monotheism, which is can be refuted easy that Muslims don't believe in monotheism, 
Because monotheism is obeying Allah, not obeying a man beside Allah. So if the Muslims, they believe that they have to obey two, then where is the monotheism? Chapter 4, verse number 18 in the Quran says, He who obeys the messenger, he has indeed obey Allah. Is that a monotheism? So what Muhammad did, and this is the evil Muhammad, this is why he changed his name to Muhammad, the praised one. He is God on earth. He placed himself instead of God. He did not say the one who obey Allah. Why you need to obey Muhammad anyway? Isn't Muhammad a man like everybody? Isn't it Muhammad is a sinner? The Quran confirmed he's a sinner. So how we obey a sinner? What about obeying God and only God? And if Muhammad is always following God, then why we need to say obey Muhammad? We are going to follow God anyway, right? But Muhammad, he wanted to have the absolute authority. So he can control every single soul in this earth. This is the devil himself. Whoever obey Muhammad, he obey God. And what make it more funny, who is the one speaking? They say Allah, but the one who's talking is Muhammad. You know, the, the, remember those are coming from Muhammad. So how we can be sure that not Muhammad making them up so we can obey him? You know what I'm saying? It's not somebody else. He is God saying, obey Muhammad. By obeying Muhammad, you obey me. There's no witnesses who is the one who delivered this to Muhammad. So what is the proof that this is not made by Muhammad? If there's any proof. <coughs> somebody tried to call me. You can talk, call me only if you are a Muslim. Only if you are a Muslim. So text me, says, I'm a Muslim. I want to call. I will I will call you. You cannot call me right away. Text me, say, I'm a Muslim. I don't want to waste my time. And I will call you. And if you are, if turned to be not a Muslim, I will block you. If you are a silly person. So the lie about monotheism is big. One person, there's no witnesses for him seeing God, meeting God, no miracles. You know, the Muslim, they say, uh, there is a video of Mimi saying that the Prophet, once he hold the cup and the cup start and the, the water start coming from between the hands of the Prophet. All those fiction miracles, you find them in a fiction tradition. But the Quran is so clear that Muhammad never had one miracle. If you go in the Quran, chapter 13, you see chapter 13, it might be like in the beginning of the Quran, because it says 13, but maybe you do not know that chapter 13 is the end of the Quran, because Muslims, they change location of chapters and they agree on that. So this is almost in the, in the, in the last year of Muhammad life. And still, people, they say to him, how come not a sign from his God? Not a miracle from his God until now. All what people want is just a miracle. And they are saying to him, so we can believe in our heart, you know, uh, rest. What is the problem? All what they are saying, give us one sign, just one. You ask yourself a very simple question. Uh, why Jesus have a flood of miracles? I mean, Jesus in the Quran, wherever he go, he's doing miracles. He make the blind see. He feed thousands from nothing. Uh, uh, even Islamic tradition book says that Jesus, when the disciple, they told him, he told them, I wanted to go and teach, preach. They said to him, but you don't speak languages. He says, go sleep. And in the morning, you will see. They went to sleep and they found themselves in the morning speaking languages. So, uh, Jesus, he uh, he resurrected people from death, according to the Quran. 
Jesus he can create from the mother bird. I mean, do we need all those miracles for Jesus? Can't Allah he give one of them to Muhammad? Just one. So Muhammad has spent his life with zero miracles and all the funny miracle you will find them in the Quran, like a lizard convert to Islam in the, in the Hadith. A lizard convert to Islam. And he was a dead lizard. A tree, she walked, two trees, they walked from their place to cover Muhammad when he was doing poo, -poo. Two trees, they said Shahada. <laughs> but as you see the Quran, this is the end of his life and people are still saying, how come not even a single miracle? And the funny is, the Muslim they say, if anything contradict the Quran, we reject it. But do you see the hypocrisy? Well, muta'a in the Quran, hadith says you don't do muta'a no more. Which one you take? Hypocrisy and lying is a lifestyle in Islamic world. All right? Look like we have no Muslims, zero Muslims, are to call us. Mayday, mayday, anyone? Yeah, a lizard convert to Islam, absolutely. I'm telling you. A guy supposed to, a Bedouin guy, uh, he did hunt a lizard. They eat lizard, you know, the Arab. So he killed the lizard and he walked by and he saw Muhammad. So Muhammad, he told him, why you don't convert to Islam? The better when he says to him, well, if my, if my lizard convert, I will convert. <laughs> and he have his, uh, his lizard in his, uh, in his like bag, you know, he's dead. And you know, by the way, those lizards are big, huge, you know, they are not really small. Uh, I don't know if what is really a lizard of the house, which is a small one or the lizard of the desert, I'm not sure. Uh, so if you if you uh, convert my uh, lizard, I will convert to Islam. Let me see if I can find you the story. Let us see here. Uh, okay, I cannot find it here. Let us see. Yeah, I cannot find it in uh, in the English, but we we can have it here in Arabic. Let us see. So anyway, a, a, a man from Bani uh, Sulaim, from the tribe of Sulaim, he hunted a, a lizard, and he put it in his bag, and then he you know he was going in his way, and then uh, he met with the with, with Muhammad. The man, he said to him, I never saw a woman, uh, 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 you know, I, I never saw a person or even women uh, uh, speak lying as much as you do. Imagine, he said to Muhammad, you are the, the, the you, you, you know, there's, there's no woman she give birth to a son or a child or no woman she mention a lie as the lies you do. And nobody I hate more than you, etc. And then the story continue. Uh, the guy, he said to him, uh, swearing by Allah and Al-Uzza and saying, and I don't believe in you, Muhammad. And then he took a lizard from his back and he threw it in the front of Muhammad. And he said to him, if this lizard believe in thee, I will believe in thee. And then the lizard Muhammad, he says, oh, lizard. And the lizard, he spoke. And he spoke in a clear Arabic. All people understand. And he said to him, Oh, I'm here for you and happy to speak to you or the messenger of the two worlds. The messenger says to him, who you worship? The man, he said, the, the, the lizard, he said, the one who his throne is in the sky and his authority is in the ground and uh, and, the, and, the, and the, the ocean is his way and the heaven is his mercy 
and the fire is his uh, uh, torture. Muhammad, he said to the lizard, who am I? He said to him, Anta, you are you are the messenger of Allah, messenger of the, the, the for the two worlds, and you are the last prophet. And the one who became your friend, he's going to be happy, and the one who will accuse you of lying, he will be sad. And then the uh, the the man who witnessed this, he says, I see, I, like he said, shahada. We can translate this into English. So if in case you want to see, yeah. So Muhammad speaking to the lizard, the lizard witness that he is, and he speak in a clear Arabic, as you see. Muhammad he said to him, O lizard, the lizard spoke to him in Arabic saying, this uh, prophet, he said to him, who do you worship? As I told you, I mean, the, the, you know, the, as you see. And then the guy, he converted to Islam because the lizard, he witnessed that Muhammad is a true prophet. But then we go in the Quran, we find that Muhammad have zero miracles. And those are verses at the end of the Quran, according to Revelation. And still people saying to him, just one miracle. So obviously all those miracles, you know, Muslims, they add them in the books of Hadith. It's a fiction miracles. They are not true. Remember the hadith is written long, long after Muhammad's death. And the Quran confirmed he has zero miracles. Actually, there's a verse in the Quran saying, Allah, he refrained. Allah, he refrained from sending miracles. Refrain totally. And here you see, this is additional proof that Islam is made by a stupid idiot because how the Quran is a miracle. Muhammad, the Muslim, they claim, well, the miracle of Muhammad is the Quran. Can you make Quran like this? Okay. Let us say for the sake of argument, for me, the Quran is a stupid Arabic language, grammar, everything. But we will go with it. Let us say the Quran is a miracle. How the Quran is a miracle and the Quran says we refrain from making miracles. If Allah refrained from sending signs, miracles, that means he refrained from sending the Quran too because the Quran is a miracle. You text me in Skype, in Skype uh, uh, Samia, you are a Muslim. Okay. Let us call you. Well, I don't know why you text me in Skype if you don't want to take my call. Uh, okay, so please don't text me unless you want me to call you. Okay, so she don't want to talk. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim would like to present to us the monotheism of Islam or anything? Actually, Islam is anti-monotheism. The first one who ordered people, uh, angels, to bow down to a man, it was Allah. You ask a Muslim, they have a trend in Twitter. We, we, the, the, the crown prince of the, uh, Saudi Arabia, not the crown prince, I think a prince from Saudi Arabia, he says, we bow down only to Allah. Is that, is that right? Is that right? Your prophet, he went, when he went as a refugee to the king of Ethiopia, he was standing firm in the front of the king or he bow down? Hmm? The angels are being given order by the God of Islam himself to bow down to Adam. Uh, make topic news, Ustaz Ray 14, uh, his female student, age 12, 14 of them. Well, you know, you see, we cannot, uh, okay, uh, let us make it simple. We can do what the Muslims do, 
when uh, somebody he claimed to be a Christian priest and he do uh, the same maybe or he molested children but is that how you can judge the religion really are we going to judge Islam by this or that no when people they focus in those news uh, they are missing the point you judge religion by the founder of the religion not by the followers however if the followers are following the steps of their prophet then this is the religion so focus in Muhammad Muhammad was a rapist Muhammad the Muslim they say clearly that his wife was six years old so why they say that this guy he raped isn't the rape is a practice of Muhammad so which one I should focus in an Ustad he raped 14 of his female student or a prophet he raped thousands of females For me, I like to focus in the faith of Prophet because this guy is just following the Prophet. Uh, let's try again. Samia trying to call us. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, hello, Sammy. How are you? Uh, hi, CP. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. So, what do you like to share with us, uh, Sammy? You are a Muslim, right? Yeah, I am a Muslim. Actually, sorry, I uh, um, was inside and uh, for uh, attending your call, I have to come out because my husband is in the home. <laughs> why you Why you don't let your husband join uh, join us in the conversation so we can have a, like a good a good uh, family conversation? I know, but he doesn't know about you, and uh, um, so uh, he I will don't. be... Okay, he will be upset? <laughs> he will be upset if you speak to me? Kind of, he will be kind of upset because he wants to know, then uh, then he will be upset, oh, why I'm talking to somebody who can tell me some truth about my religion, you know? Yeah, so what do you think about Islam, Samia? Because I, I, I saw your text many times in the chat, uh, it looked like you like what I'm doing. Oh, I of course I love what you are doing, and uh, so many things that, that I never know about my religion, and I come to know from you, and then I search on my own, and I was so surprised, especially with that hadith that said that, um, like uh, you have to do sins, otherwise uh, God will, Allah will remove us and bring other people who will do the sin, and then who will repent, exactly, and then he will. So actually, I and I shared. I'm basically from Pakistan, and I'm here in USA from three and a half years. Yeah, don't give and, uh, don't give too much personal information about yourself. Okay, and then I shared this hadith uh, to some of my family uh, who know more than me Islam, and they like twist and turn. Oh, it doesn't mean that you have to do a sin. It's just God wants you to telling you not to do a sin. So I said, then what is the purpose of telling us that if you will not do the sin, then they will remove us. He will remove us, and he will bring some other people to worship and do sins. And uh, so, what is the point? Oh, oh no 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 it's not like that it's just uh, God is uh, telling that uh, no you don't need to you you will not do the sin but if you do he'll forgive because he's so merciful well what does the merciful have to do uh, with this you know if uh, uh, if Allah he is going to bring uh, he, he is going to punish us delete us from this earth just because we did not commit sin where is love in that you know she should it should be the opposite he should be he should be uh, loving us not hating us because we did what we're supposed not to do but according to islam obviously allah is a is a is a, is a lonely sick person he want people to beg him for forgiveness and if you are not making sin then you will not beg for forgiveness it's like a, it's like it's like somebody you know let us say uh, uh, uh uh, once uh, uh, there is a there's a person I know he have a, a rich family but his family they will not they will give him like he have to go and beg for money so they can give him money you know uh, yeah. and then I ask him why your family don't like support you to open like a business or a store or something instead of going and ask them for help from time to time 
just one time investment and your life can be fixed he said you don't understand they want me to go there so i can beg for it mm. they will give him the money but enough just for now so tomorrow he will come back again and beg for more money so this god is a sick god he don't want people who do, who commit no sin he yeah, wants people who commit sin why because they are begging for forgiveness you know before that we we heard we listen you know in 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 ramadan it's all dorai quran um, like uh, the teachers there who explain and all that but uh, and never point came into my mind some some questions i had especially of surah kahf where okay they asked uh, muhammad about the questions about uh, three questions and, and that he have to answer but he he couldn't answer of the one question about the ruh and the other yeah. questions that he answer was actually already exist like oh, everybody knows about the seven sleepers and, uh, and about zulkarnain and so what was the point of giving that answers again to the people who already knew that and um, what, what did not give a correct answer so anyway i mean about zulkarnain he he took a story written by an assyrian a syrian author about and, a guy and, he have two horn i mean zulkarnain he became i mean who is this zulkarnain have you ever heard of a guy his name is that guy with a two horn is he a man i didn't <laughs> I didn't know about it before when I heard Robert Christ and the detail about this, yeah. and I was actually curious. I was I that question is my in, in in my mind from a long time, and no Muslim will answer this question. And some of the teachers that I know, if I ask some questions, oh, they said it it doesn't matter because you are not doing that in your life. Yeah. So everything is religion. Of everything is religion is wrong. I want to ask you, you as a as a lady, as a married mm -hmm. woman. Uh, mm -hmm. how, you know, like when you see the Quran speaking about if a man he wished to exchange his wife with other wife, what what do you yeah. feel about that? Of course, I don't like this point, and uh, the husband is like so happy and so okay to know. No, look, I have a permission. You don't have a permission. I have a permission. So I said okay, but this hurt. It hurt. This hurts. I will never in my life, if I'm in your life as your wife, I never allow another woman to come in your life. But he says, "Oh, so, but you will not allow, but Allah allow us." Right. So you, so you are, you, you know, you cannot allow anything anyway. He just will throw yeah. you, and he exchange it. And actually, you don't even need to divorce you. He can have second one, and third one, and fourth one. And when one of you get older, the oldest one, he throw her away, and he get the new, brand new wife. So women in Islam is nothing but a property. So how you think about your marriage now in the future then? Because you, as long your husband is saying he uh, Allah allow it, so maybe he is thinking to exchange you sooner or later. He's a nice person. He loves me. He's so a nice I person. Don't... Okay, I'm not going to go there then. <laughs> All right. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. He will. I hope he will not turn to a true to be a true Muslim and decide to follow the Quran. Let us say. Let us hope so. But. Uh, but Islam is religion. It's allowing that and giving permission for the man to replace the wife as if she is an, an old car. You know, very horrible. So, <clears throat> so uh, Samia, uh, after saying what you are saying, did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Not yet. I'm not at the point where, but I yes, I'm searching a lot, and I'm discussing a lot with my husband also, especially Muhammad married to Hazrat Aisha and uh, all that things and. Uh, so uh, he's also curious, and then you know, it's it's you know, it, it feed in our mind that way. You don't need to do a question. It was Allah's will that happened, and that does happen. You have to just believe and obey. You don't need to ask questions. It's like that. So uh, yeah, it's yeah, weird see, sometimes. Even even if we don't ask questions, uh, when the Quran, like the Quran says in chapter five, verse one one oh one, ask no questions. Verse one oh two says. If you, because former generation they asked the same questions and they, let, they lost their faith so Muhammad he knew that people if they ask questions he have no answers and if he gave answers the answers will be horrible and people will lose their faith so Muhammad he knew that he is not convincing his religion is not convincing so we forbid people from asking questions but let us say for the sake of argument I did not ask the questions but other people asking the questions and when those questions hit I forbid myself from asking the questions, but still I hear the questions. So is that is that healthy to run away from the questions by ignoring them or by re, you know, refuting them? So 
the Muslims these days they try to refute us and each time they try it come a very horrible way Allah have hands uh, the Muslim in the debate he says who said so but other Muslims in YouTube all of them they are saying Allah have hands Allah have, have feet so the Muslims in order to, to, uh, to refute questions they, they, they go in denial mood but they don't really refute, they do mockery of a person who is asking the questions, hoping by doing mockery he will retreat and we would, we are going to bully you. You know, the bully uh, culture, we bully the person and then the person he give up, he stop asking those questions. But those questions are always going to be exist and nobody can stop them. You mentioned the, the Ruh. When a, a prophet of God, people ask him about the, the spirit and then supposedly he received the answer from his God. And then the answer, Allah knows best. <laughs> what kind of answer this answer? Remember, we are asking the one who is connected now and he is receiving revelation from God. We are not asking a scholar or etc. So to avoid to say, maybe I don't know. I, I'm afraid to give you wrong answer. But this is a prophet who received revelation from his God. And the revelation came to him back to refute that question or to answer that question. Saying what? Say that the, the Ruh is from the command of my God. Will we know that is the command from your God? That's what we are asking you. <laughs> you know, what does what the, what the, what, what this have to do with the question? I'm asking you, what is the spirit? You don't say to me, the spirit is from the command of Allah. We are asking you because you claim to be a prophet and Allah is in charge of that spirit. So we are asking you, what is the spirit anyway? We are not right. asking who is in charge of it. We are asking, what is the spirit? When you say spirit, what is that? And he could not... uh, yeah, go ahead. A lot of contradiction about the like about the the Quran says about Angel and Torah that these are the books from me and uh, uh, if you have any kind of doubts in Quran, you can go and look at these books. And other side, it's saying not to believe because uh, it changes. And yeah, these questions also come in my mind. If the Quran is Allah's book and if the Torah and Angel is also Allah's books, then why Allah will protect only one book? Why not the other books too? Because it's all God's word. Like a lot see, of you see the Muslims, the answer, the answer to this question, just to show you how silly their answers is. I, like I say to them, okay, the, the Quran, chapter ten, verse number ninety-four. It says, if you Muhammad have a doubt about what is revealed to you, go and ask the people who they have the books before you, the Christians and the Jews. The Muslims they say, Christian prince, are you stupid? Don't you no. see? It says if. <laughs> If, actually, this if here make it more horrible. Why? Because this is God. Don't he knew if he have it or not? I can say, me as a human, because I don't know what is inside your heart. I say to Samuel now, if you don't like Islam, leave it. Because I don't know if she like Islam or not. If, right? But this is mm. God. So when God, he says, if you have a doubt, so do Allah knew that Muhammad have a doubt about Islam or not? And if he don't have a doubt, so why he is saying to him, if you have a doubt, that means Allah is being stupid here. Allah is confused. Uh, if Muhammad never have a doubt about Islam, and then Allah, he says to him, if you have a doubt, go and ask the Christians. So this if is a stupid because the guy, he don't have it according to Muslims. So do he have it or not? So either he have it and Allah trying to help him says, go and ask the Christian and the Jews or he don't have it. And then Allah is a stupid because he is saying to him, or uh, like uh, making an assumption that you have it and he don't uh, but here by saying if that's mean the God himself he do not know if Muhammad have such a thing or not same time regardless if Muhammad he have it or not how the Christian and the Jews their books is corrupt according to Muslims and then the stupid Allah he says to the Muhammad go and ask those who have corrupt book you know what I mean yeah imagine yeah. imagine I say to a Christian if you don't believe that Jesus is God, go and ask Jehovah's Witnesses. But Jehovah's Witnesses are not the Christians. They have a corrupt translation for the Bible. Or I say, if you don't believe in Jesus, go and ask the Mormon. But the Mormon are not the Christians. The book of the Mormon is, has nothing to do with us. So when you say, if you have a doubt, go and ask the one who read the Torah and the one who read the Gospel in the time of Muhammad, which is the same as the one we have now. That's mean that Muhammad 
he cannot have a stand of his own religion without us, Christians and Jewish uh, approval. And neither the Jews, neither the Christians approve Muhammad. Muhammad, he says, if only 10 Jews believe in me, the Jews will believe. So Muhammad, he failed to make 10 Jewish people believe in him. Imagine how horrible it was. Muhammad is. He could not make 10 Jews. God bless some of my friends. Actually, they ask questions and all that. And like I was some surprised and I was quite different because I start thinking, yes, the questions they're asking, it's right. And, and I start digging more into it, more into Islam, more into Quran and more into um, Bible and Torah. Trying, I'm not that much in there, but trying. But the more I'm digging in, more the getting confused and the questions and answers are going against Islam. <sighs> Watching Al Fadi, Dr. J, where I got to know there's no history. Like I'm confused with the Abraham. If there is, and the, the main con difference between Bible and uh, Quran is about in, in 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 Bible it's written that uh, Abraham uh, go and uh, try to sacrifice Isaac, not Ishmael. But the Quran says Ishmael. If this base is wrong and false, from there then that means Islam doesn't exist. Yeah. Well, you know, I hope, uh, Samia, if you have any question for me, please tell me. I will be happy to help you. Uh, otherwise, we will see if I can we take another call. And if you like your husband to call me, I will be happy to take him too. Do you have any questions? Um, um, a lot of confusion. Anyways, well, that's nice to talk to you. Maybe I'll come some question at another time where I will be ready. And, uh, All right. So I advise you. I advise you. You see? You know, Islam is not only religion does not make sense. It's not even a religion. Islam is a collection of stupid things. You know, Muhammad, he have no religion. Uh, Muhammad, he, he saw the Jews fasting. He took the Jews fasting. He saw the pagan fasting. He took the pagan fasting. He saw the, the abolition of the of the pagan Sabian. He started doing abolition like them. He saw the, the Arab pagan kissing the black stone. He started kissing the black stone. They saw the Arab going around the Kaaba. He said the, the Kaaba is a station. And then he... Ignored the Kaaba for many years and he started praying toward Jerusalem. And then when he mm. could not get Jerusalem, <laughs> Amr al-Khattab, he said to him, why we don't go back and pray toward the uh, Kaaba? So why why, why you deny the Kaaba in your time if the Kaaba is, a, is the most important house for Allah? <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with this guy? So he was trying to convince the Jews that he is a Jew. Muhammad is a fraud. With the Christian, he is a Christian. With the Jews, he is a Jew. With the Sabian, he is a Sabian. With the Arab, he is a pagan like them. So, it, it, this guy is like Obama going for election. With the atheist, he make fun of the Bible. With the Jews, he wear a hat and he go pray in the front of the temple. With the Christian, he hold the Bible and he read verses. And with the gays and lesbian, he is a you know he he support them. So, Muhammad is not a person who can stand for anything because he have no stand. He was just desperate trying to make people believe in him. And this is why he promised even the Sabian who worship stars that they will go to heaven. Uh, I mean, what is the connection between the Sabian and the Jews and the Christian and the Muslims? Uh, uh, if, you, if you go to the book of the Sabian, you will see that the Sabian, they say in their book, if you, they have a book, it's called Kenza Rabba, which means the treasure of the, uh, of, of the God. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, it says that the Jews, their God Adonai, is the Satan. For he ordered the Jews to do circumcision. So how those who believe that the God of the Jews is Satan for doing circumcision, and the Muslims, they follow Muhammad trying to copy the Jews, and he do order his followers to do circumcision. So yeah. how he made the Sabian go to heaven when they believe in different God, obviously. Hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, anyways. Um, and uh, please, I ask everybody out there, pray right. for me and pray right. also. Sure, sure. We will pray for you, sister, and we hope soon you will come to Jesus, and you will see the truth, and the truth will set you free. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. We have a Muslim Ooh. in the chat. He is saying, uh, "Christian prince, you don't have a life because you are a joke." Hmm. Oh, well, let us see how that works. I'm going to go with you, Mr. London. Do you think I should go to the high mountain and jump? London, I want your help. Do you advise me to go to the high mountain and jump? Because horrible, I have no life.
and you told you said I'm a joke. Please tell me in the chat if I should do that. I'm waiting for your answer. I'm seriously asking you, should I go to the high mountain and jump? Because I have no life. Let us see if Mr. London, he will say anything. Because he is in London. He said yes, thank you. All right. So Mr. London is a Muslim. He said yes, I should go to the high mountain and jump. Okay, so you are saying now and you are agreeing that the one who have no life, he should jump from the high mountain. Thank you very much. I appreciate your advice, Dr. Zakir Naik. What if I show you that your prophet is the one who tried to do that many times? You agreed that the one who have no life is the one who should jump from the high mountain. And I asked you, do you think I should do that because I have no life? You said yes. Let us go and see your prophet trying many times to jump from the top of the high mountain. And now I will give you the question back. Do you advise your prophet to jump from the top of the high mountain? Are you there, Mr. London? The prophet becomes so sad and we have heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. And every time he went up to the mountain, in order to throw himself down, Gabriel, or Jibreel, not Gabriel, would appear before him and says, Oh, Muhammad, you are indeed a messenger. Are you there, Mr. London? Don't play dead on me now. We are just following your advice. Here we ask ourselves, what kind of a prophet he is committing suicide? And not only once, not only twice, I mean several times. And how stupid are you, Muhammad? I mean, the guy he just told you. So why Muhammad want to commit suicide? Because he himself don't believe he's a prophet. Read the story. How he called him down, he says to him, Muhammad, you are for sure Allah messenger. And then the prophet, he said, really? I'm messenger of Allah? Okay, I will go home. Look, what a drama. What a stupid story. And by the way, I mean, why the angel, he wait for Muhammad until Muhammad, he climbed the mountain. Excuse me, I have to use my skills in art to explain the problem. You know, I'm very good in art. So this is the mountain next to the house of Muhammad. This is the house of Muhammad. And this is the mountain, the mountain, the mountain, the mountain, the mountain. Uh, going high, you know, I, I cannot put it all in the screen, you know, it's a high mountain, you know. Alhamdulillah. Allah, he placed the mountains at the top of the earth. So, Muhammad, he woke from his house, sad and happy. I want to kill myself. I want to kill myself. I want to kill myself all the way. Like he's climbing the mountain. <laughs> it's very hard to climb the mountain. I mean, it looked like Muhammad was a very good at hiking. I would like to take him with me because I love hiking, you know. Because you know we are up and we love goats. And why we love goats? Because goats they do hiking. So the prophet is hiking, hiking. I hate myself. I'm not a prophet. I'm not a prophet. I'm not a prophet. <laughs> And now he is at the top of the high mountain. And now it's time for Muhammad to jump. And now, now, the angel, he decides to appear in front of him. Let us get the angel. We will make him blue. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. Mommy blue. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. So this is the angel, Mr. Blue. He come in front of Muhammad. He have wings. He say Muhammad. The voice goes Muhammad. Yeah, Muhammad. Yeah. So this is the voice coming in later, later. because even the angels are speaking to it. Muhammad, what are you doing, Muhammad? Muhammad is saying, Leave me alone. I want to jump. Jump. 
From my side, side, side is in, don't, don't fix your, fix your mic. mic. Yeah, hold on, hold on. One, two, one, two. Okay, is it better now? Is it better now? How is the sound now? <clears throat> is it better? Okay, I don't know what happened. Okay, maybe Jabril, he jumped inside my microphone. Or maybe because I was singing, let us see. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. Oh, mommy blue. Oh, mommy. Here we go, we make Quran. Can you make Quran better than this? Can you make Quran better than my Quran? Oh, mommy, mommy blue? I challenge you. You know, when the Muslim they say nobody can make Quran like the Quran, this is the most funny challenge because here we go. I have many books. Who can make books like mine? If you make books like mine, obviously you are copying my book. So you did not make any book like mine. <laughs> this is how silly this religion is. Oh, well. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? When when Muhammad he said to them to the Arab, uh, okay, can you make Quran like mine? They said to him, they, they are saying to him, this Quran is stupid. And he said to them, can you make stupid Quran like mine? I mean, look at look at the challenge. 
<laughs> oh boy, what we can do. Any Mohammedan? Any one? Any two? Now, guys, remember, we are going to start going live in the other account, Arabian Prophet. The admin is posting the link, and we will post it in the comment section later, and we will PM it. So if we don't come here for some time, you might be wondering, maybe I'm not coming live. No, I am, but I will be using the other account, the Arabian Prophet. All right? So please take a note of that, tell your friends. And this is why I'm coming here in this account. So we don't disappear suddenly and you do not know where, where we're gone. All right. And Abdul. So the story here is very funny and very stupid. But the story is very important for the same time. Because uh, why Muhammad want to kill himself? And obviously he want to kill himself because he himself don't believe he's a prophet. <clears throat> right? Muhammad himself, he don't believe he's a prophet. So how Muhammad, he don't believe in his prophet and he wants us to believe that he's a prophet? How in the world that work? If the guy himself, he don't believe he's a prophet, he want to kill himself. And he did try to do that many times. If you go and like do a little study about psychology, why somebody he tried to do such a thing to himself? You know, people when they lose hope. Somebody he lost all his money in the stock market. Uh, somebody was done, you know, like gambling. We hear a story like somebody he was gambling, and he lost all his money. So suddenly he found himself nothing. You know, suddenly he he become homeless. He cannot take it no more. So. Uh, 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 doing such an act is not a healthy act. Especially Muhammad, he said clearly that the one who kill himself, suicide, but not suicide bomber, suicide, like to kill himself for no benefit. But if you do suicide bombing, it's okay for it in Islam. But if you kill yourself, you will go to hell. Let me find you the hadith. And how you kill yourself, by the way, doesn't matter really. If you kill yourself like by a knife or anything, you will go to hell. The angels will be cursing you non-stop. Right? Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Any Muslim? What happened to London? Did he leave? I'm afraid that London is Abbas. <laughs> the pizza boy. Oh, okay. Uh, any, any more question? Anyone have a question? So please remember that we will be going live in the other account. We will be here for the few coming days until we inform everybody that we will be in the Arabian Prophet account. So if we don't appear here, don't think we are not doing live. And always the best way to find where we are is to go to Patreon because there we will post the last updated link for our broadcast. All right. Uh, my friend, with my respect and love to everybody, don't send me messages in Skype saying I am your fan, I love what you do. I really love you all. But you see, I open my Skype. So people who they, they are Muslims, like we have our sister here, Samia. She called me so we can have a conversation with, with, with them. And you can learn from this conversation and we can save them. But please, if you like what I do, make a comment. No problem. The chat will be later. I mean, the chat is open now. The comment section is uh, will be open. I never close my comment section. So you like what I do, you know, okay, express yourself. Show us your love by sharing the videos. 
show us your love by downloading the videos reposting them again but I don't want people to be my fan I want you to be the fan of Christ I want you to follow Christ I want you to be a person who is a warrior for the Lord I'm not looking for fans what I would do with my fans remember one thing you as a Christian you have one person to be proud about and that is not Christian Prince that is Jesus I'm a sinner and maybe you are better than me so I'm not here seeking fans I'm not here seeking flashlight on me he says this guy is a, is a star many they do that I don't I don't I, for me this is the, the last the last interest in my life So please be a warrior for Christ. Bring Muslims to his life and bring your even family. Maybe they are not believers no more. Be a fan for the truth. Always side with the truth and the truth will set you free. That is the Lord. He said, I am the truth. I am the way. I am the life. I am the resurrection. And yet they say to you where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. There is Abdul Mood. What Abdul Mood? Abdul Mood. Who is the Abdul Mood who became moderator? Ah, Palestine, not for Israel. He became a moderator. Okay. Ah, so they are trying to do some business here. Okay, we'll remove him from the moderating. Yeah, it's okay. And uh, not only we will remove him from moderating, I'm not sure how they do that. Maybe it was by mistake from my side. I'm not sure. Hide this user. Here we go. Come back, moderator. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, even maybe sometime you click at the name by mistake. I'm not sure. But maybe there is a way you can do it. I mean, those people, they are obsessed with the Christian prince. Actually, isn't it an honor to have an, a, a moderator he, uh, uh, working for a Christian prince? <laughs> and he is a Muslim? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> right? One on one, Tommy, Tommy what? You don't dare to debate me? Are you a Muslim, Mr. Are you a Muslim, Mr. Tommy? Text me. Go ahead, text me and I will take your call. Did the Old Testament say, I am God, worship me? Did the Old Testament say, I am God, worship me? Hmm. The Old Testament, God, he said to Moses, I am who I am. And this is what Jesus said. And if God, he says, worship me, uh, Shaitan, he said, worship me. So? All fake gods in the world, they say, worship me. So? More like you went to the wrong street. Oh, London, you know. You, now you're coming back to answer London. Isn't it you who says to me that the one who have no life, he should jump from the top of the mountain? And then we find that your prophet is the one who jumped. Why you don't call me London and tell me why your prophet, he tried to commit suicide many times? Can you help us? I challenge any Muslim to tell us why he's a prophet he tried to commit suicide. What do you think? Because this is very serious. I mean, if uh, what if Muhammad, he killed himself and the angel did not appear in the right moment? What if what, there's a traffic, the angel did not come on time? What kind of a prophet? He tried to kill himself and this is against the teaching of his God. <clears throat> 
that's a lie it's in the front of you guys that's a lie Abdul saying to me that's a lie it's the hadith al-Bukhari I mean you show them the hadith in the screen it's an al-Bukhari it's a sahih hadith and they say it's a lie hmm. anyone Is it a lie? Is that your Muslim website? Is that Al-Bukhari? Is that your translation? Describe to me why Jesus is God. Well, uh, we can say why Jesus is God. Jesus in the Quran, he can resurrect people from death. Can Allah resurrect people from death? Let us compare. We go to the Quran, we see that your God is a Hindu God. In order to resurrect people from death, he claimed that you have to beat them with beef. Why Jesus did not need beef to resurrect a human being from death? Chapter 2, verse number 73. And the Quran confirms saying, and this is how Allah resurrects people from death. How? By beating them by beef. So if we compare between the God of the Christian, he do not need beef to resurrect anyone. The God of the Muslims, he is a beefy God. A sonic saying, Jesus was a human being. Well, your God, Allah, is a human being too. Let us go to the Hadith. Your prophet describe him that he look exactly like the Antichrist and even he is fat. Excuse my word. He have a curly hair. He is a, he is a heavy seated. The only difference between Allah and the Antichrist is one eye and the height in front of you and this is Sahih. You see it? So when the Muslim they say Allah is not a man, that is a joke because their prophet, he make it clear that the only difference between Allah and the Antichrist, and Antichrist is a man too. The Muslim actually didn't believe in the Antichrist. They say Al-Masih al-Dajjal, which means the false Messiah, which means he's a man claiming to be the true Messiah. So what is the difference between the look of Allah and the false Messiah? Only one eye. Read it. Any Abdul? And this is the description of your God. Your prophet saying, I am afraid that you might not understand. I agree with you, Muhammad, those fool, how they will understand a smart person like you. The Antichrist is short, hinted, woolly haired, one eyed, and eye, eye, an, an eye, eye sightless, and neither protruding or deep seated, nor deep seated. So if you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eyed. <laughs> So, Muhammad is afraid that the Muslim, they will worship the Antichrist, who is a man. And he's afraid because they look exactly the same. Allah is short. Allah have a woolly hair. Allah is neither protein or deep-seated. What is the difference between the false Messiah and Allah? One eye. Allah have two eyes. Hey, Muslims, if Allah is not a man, why he have two eyes? Is he a cat? How many eyes Allah has? Any Muslim? Here the drama will stop. Look at look at the drama. A second ago, Jesus is just a man. Here we go. Your God, Allah have hands. Your Allah, your God, Allah have a, a leg. He have five fingers. He have a shin. <coughs> So what is Allah made of? I cannot go to Zakir Naik because he did not pay his bill. The Muslims are not donating to Zakir Naik. Let, let me try. Taradim, taradim. Taradim, taradim. Taradim, taradim. Christian Prince. 
you are very lucky I don't connect my line uh, is like like you just connected your line unbelievable because they told me just mention your name and they asked me to call you Alhamdulillah Allah he connected my line Allah he connected your line and you what are you getting your line from AT&T Christian Prince we Muslims and we don't use AT&T what's wrong with AT&T because it is two Indian T we worship only one God ah. To AT&T is a problem. You will need one AT. Uh -huh, okay. Hey, hey, Zakir, what do you think about Allah? He looked the same as the Antichrist, and the only difference between them is one eye. Christian Prince, first of all, the Prophet, he said that the only difference between them is one eye, but he did not say they look the same. Hey, you just say the difference between them is one eye. So how they don't look the same? Christian Prince, first of all, your Arabic is funny. Secondly, you don't speak English. Zach and Egg, that's not the question. You understand my question. If your prophet saying the only difference between them is one eye, so how they don't look the same? Explain to us, please. Okay, I'll explain to you. First of all, give me your name. Tell me your faith. Okay, Zach and Egg, come on, don't go again. Uh, uh, if if Muhammad if Muhammad saying that the difference between Allah and the false uh, Messiah is one eye, so how you say they don't look the same? Please elaborate. Christian Prince. First of all, because I don't get my connection, I'm not going to get my connection with you. Hey, Zach and Nag, come on, we are talking for the last 10 minutes. Just give me the answer and solve the problem. People are waiting, Muslims are waiting. First of all, I advise all the Muslims who they are listening to Christian Prince not to listen to him because he lied to you. Allah, he have two eyes. Hey, Zach and Nag, hold on. You just said the truth. Allah have two eyes. Why he don't have three? First of all, I am not going to tell you why you have no three. Allah have two eyes because the Prophet said he have two eyes. Okay, they, are they located in the front or in the back? Or one of them in the front and one of them in the back? Christian Prince, it says that they're located in the face of Allah. So Allah have a face. Exactly. And Allah face is where the eyes. Exactly. And then, so Allah, he cannot see in his back. Christian Prince, Allah, he can do many things to see in his back. As an example. Like what? He can use a mirror. What the heck? I never thought about that. <laughs> And just watch the comment later. The Muslim they will say to you, "This is not true, Zakir Naik. This is a fake call. This is how smart they are." Hey Sonic, are you Sonic in a lot these days? Why you don't give me a call, Sonic, in Skype? Let us see how good you are. Let us Sonic together. Sonic. And as long your name is Sonic Light, is your God Allah is a Sonic Light too? Look what Allah described His light. Allah light is the same as a light. <laughs> in a lamp. <laughs> they say to you, you cannot compare Allah to anything. So why Allah compare himself to the Antichrist? Allah compare himself to a tree. Allah compare himself to the lamp. Allah compare himself to olive oil. Allah he compare himself. I mean the guy he compare himself. Name one thing he did not compare himself to. Look at this. Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth. And the battle of the light of Allah is the way in the niche and the the niche and the, niche and the lamp is the ring including the glass. And the glass is the dead and the brilliant star. And then the light and the bread are the tree and then the nether nest eat and the rest. With the oil, then the lemonous and then the other the light. And then the light and the Allah knows best. Thank you very much. And they say to us, don't compare the light of Allah to anything. After all what Allah said, they say to us, Allah, you cannot compare Allah to anything. Abdul, it's not me who comparing my Allah. It's, it's you, Allah comparing himself. Allah comparing himself to a niche. I like the niche. How is niche doing? The parable of his light as a where there was a niche. Is Allah is inside the niche or is inside outside the niche? What's a niche God? He, Allah, look here. He, take a picture for you. Thank you. You know, you look so good in the niche. And they say to you, you cannot compare Allah to anything. What? Me. Do we have any niche? Would like to make a call? What a chapter! This is a chapter of the niche, <laughs> chapter twenty-four. The the nur. And you know, one of the funny things the Muslim they say to you. Do you know that Allah He said that the star, the sun, is a brilliant, and the moon have light reflecting light 
Eh, eh, the moon reflecting light and the star have yes, brother, scientific miracle, brother. Abdul, do you see Allah have a reflecting light then? Because the same word used here, light. <laughs> Noor. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, do we have any niche? www.nicheislam.com niche Allah niche lamp niche olive oil niche who care where is the brave Muslims my Skype is open I do not know who's going to call me just call hello hello it's me you looking for Mede Mede Nichi 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 step step beat Allah in his lip he will scream he will dream that he right on the step Nichi Nichi any Muslim I mean this God is the most real God ever Have you ever heard of a God? There's a, there's a video made by three Muslims. It is in the Suku film channel. Where it says, uh, that if a, if a man or some Muslim man, he won't like to work as a pimp, he can work as a pimp. Actually, the title of the video is based on the question. I think the title is look like we have a license to be a pimp in Islam three Muslims very well-known Muslims in YouTube they were discussing how the God of Islam he allow Muslims to work as a pimp license for look go watch it I'm not going to post it here because it's not worth it they are a bunch of kids for me Because of my videos, you are able to argue. My friend, you should not be able to argue. You should be able to whip Allah with the floor. What, only argue? Is this what you do? Only argue? Don't you see what we do? Our Skype is open. With, there's no Muslim there to call. The only one who dare to call is the one who don't accept Hadith. And the one who don't even accept the, the, the interpretation for the Quran. He has his own interpretation. And he don't speak Arabic. <laughs> And you don't accept any translation. <laughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, there is a hundred level of. Uh, you see, actually, here, hold on. There, there's. Uh, if we want to talk about scientific uh, uh, error, you see, we are not really making books of God a book of science, but Muslims they do. For me as a Christian, is it scientific that Jesus is born from a virgin? No, this is not scientific. That's impossible, actually. No science approved that. We believe it, right? But the Muslims are the one who make their books, books of science. So as an example, when the Quran says, there's seven heavens and seven earth. Chapter 65, verse number 12. If science in the future is to discover there is seven earth, the Muslims will go crazy. But this is not about really discovery. This is something already the Greek they used to teach. If you go and see the, 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 the name of the planets, the, the Greek they have in their mythology, those are the seven earth. Muhammad is a fraud. Allah created seven heaven and seven earth. But this is what the Greek mythology teach. Uh, now you fail, you get angry. London, we don't get angry. It's your Allah who get angry. Let me show you how Allah he get angry. 
Allah, he got so angry because the Christians, like Christian prince, they make fun of him. So look what he said to them. He said to me, Christian prince, if you don't believe in me, I'll, I will erase your face. Well, Allah, come on, don't do that. Already, I mean, uh, women, they don't like me before the face I have. Even that one, you will erase it. Don't do that. Come on, Allah. Allah, he insists. He said, no, if you don't believe in Prophet Muhammad, I'm going to erase your face. I'm going to erase your eyebrows. I'm going to erase your lips. I'm going to erase your eyes. Actually, I will make them in the back of your, of your, of your head. Allah is angry now. The Christians still did not believe. Did Allah erase their faces? Are you there, London? Chapter 4, verse number 47. And by the way, the verse confirming the Bible with us, you idiot. You see, you stupid Quran. The Muslim they say to us our book is corrupted and then we go and go on and every single verse it says we confirm the book with you we confirm the book with you and then Abdul he says to us in YouTube the Bible is corrupt brother the Quran says we confirm the book is with you what's wrong with this religion what kind of hashish you are taking there's one of two solutions either the one who wrote the quran is taking too much hashish or the one who don't want to follow his quran is taking hashish choose one fundamentalist exists in every religion well is, is islam is a religion first okay i challenge i challenge you sonic to call me and tell me what is the religion of islam I challenge any Muslim to tell me what is the religion of Islam. I know what you will say to worship one God. But have you ever heard of a God he worship himself? <laughs> have you ever heard of a God? He speak to other God saying to him, maybe? I will type one word in the search engine in front of you in Arabic. I know you don't know Arabic, you're an idiot. You speak to Allah in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic. Amazing miracle. Look how many times Allah, he keeps saying Asa. Asa, 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 Asus, Asa, 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 Al-Basus. Asa, 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 It's all over the Quran. Allah saying, maybe? Allah saying to Allah, it may be Allah. Who is the one is talking? Allah. Talking to who? To Allah. Saying to him what? It may be. <laughs> this is religion. It may be. Allah saying to Allah, it may be. Do you love me? Maybe, maybe. Do you hate me? Maybe, maybe. Do you worship me? Maybe, maybe. Oh Allah, oh Allah. Like what the heck with this religion? So who is talking Allah? What he's saying, it may be Allah, he grant you love. <laughs> Allah making wish to who? And then this Allah, he keeps saying, and Allah is all forgiving. Who is talking? <laughs> it, I mean, Allah, Allah, Allah talking to Allah? I mean, Allah, he like to talk to himself. What's wrong with that? Huh? What's wrong with that? This is very normal. Allah, he says to Allah, maybe Allah, will Allah, maybe, you know? So Allah, okay, and you know, Allah, you, so Allah. It's very clear. Uh, Allah. I'll just say, Alhamdulillah. Any maybe? Maybe. Even when Muhammad, he commits sin, and supposedly his Lord is going to forgive him. Look what Allah is saying. Or his Lord.
What a drama, man. Hmm. Oh, Muhammad, may Allah forgive thee. I look false. It became false. The sin became false. Change the translator. It's a sin. Look, 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 look. Look at the coward, Yusuf Ali. The sin became fault. Okay, I'm going to do some fault before after I hang up now. The word sin became fault. Verily, verily, you have given you Muhammad manifest victory. Who's talking Allah? Okay. That Allah may forgive you. Look, who's talking Allah again? Look how Allah is talking and he is saying, may Allah forgive you. I should sing and do uh, yeah I should have changed my career shouldn't I you know I'm very uh, by the way I'm very handsome like Muhammad both of us we used to work in the in a blind women's trapeze club and we got the prize of the most handsome men ever by those blind women you know you know what I'm talking about that Allah may forgive your sin like what the heck how you can do that who is the one that's talking as Allah? So why Allah making a wish to Allah? Allah make a wish, like wish, 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 wish. Allah make a wish. I, I will make a wish to Allah to forgive the sin of Muhammad. Allah make a wish to Allah to forgive the sin of Muhammad. That's, to, that's very deep. That's deep. That's really deep. That's so deep. Me. Any Abdul? Last call. Okay, last wish. Anyone? Yeah, actually, you know, uh, to tell you the truth, the first time I came to Arabia, the Arab there, you know, my cousins, they look at the moon, they look at Christian Prince, they look at the moon, they look at the moon, they look at the moon, they look at the prophet, they look at the moon, they look at the prophet, they look at the moon, look at the prophet, and then they stop looking at the moon and says, for sure the Prophet of Allah is more pretty. Unbelievable, man. So true. So who maybe like to call me? Maybe. Who maybe like to prove me wrong? Maybe. No, actually, today we don't have a good number. It's only 1,000. I don't know why. Today is what is a Friday. Uh, people are doing shopping. They want to do barbecue later. Uh, Abdul preparing for the. They are doing the <clears throat> making babies. You know, yeah. I remember. You know, I was I was a student in a college, and you know, there's language we don't use in the street. So the driver is a Muslim. So uh, he said, I'm, "I'm tired. Yesterday I was doing my homework." So me and my friend, we are in school too, and we do not know what this guy is talking about. He's old. He's like, I don't know. So what homework, you know? So we did not get it. I said, what? <laughs> he said, yesterday, it was Thursday. I was doing my homework. <laughs> I was like, so we said to him, do you go to school? <laughs> he looked at us like, <laughs> he said, yeah, like, yeah, we have a school. We go to school. Uh -huh. <laughs> He is very tired. Yesterday he was doing his homework. It's Thursday. So today is a Friday. Muslims are tired. They were doing their homework yesterday. Hmm. Alhamdulillah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, I think it's time to go. So again, guys, remember, we are going, we are posting the link for you for the Arabian Prophet. The admin are posting it. So uh, uh, we will stay here for some time until people, they take a note. And then we will move to the Arabian Prophet account. And we will start going live there. It doesn't matter for you anyway. I mean, it's a YouTube anyway. This page or the other page. So take a note, please. We will be there in the other account. And uh, today we have only one Muslim caller. We have our uh, uh, friend Samia. She is from Pakistan. I hope soon she will accept Jesus. Already she is disgusted with Islam. Uh, but she did not decide to leave yet. So I hope soon her husband will leave too, not only her. So we have a baptism for the whole family, as many family we did to them before. I want to say thank you all for being here. Until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is a scam. And we will see you soon. Thank you.
But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned, if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In the prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 